All right, well, welcome everyone. I am JJ. Let's do an example problem. So in this one, we have our frame shown consists of pin connected members AB and BC. So just two pieces attached by a pin at B. Um, it's externally supported by a pin at A and a pin at C. Let's determine the reactions at A, B, and C as we come through here. So we know we need to make free body diagrams from this because we're going to apply equilibrium equations to find our support reactions. Um, so where should we start with that? If we think through our overall free body diagram, we would have pin A and pin C included in there. We would internalize pin B, so we want to put BX and BY on that. But I still have AX, AY, CX, and CY. There's four unknowns there. I know I won't be able to find all of them because I only have three equilibrium equations per free body diagram. Could I find any of them? Really, is there any point where three of my unknowns pass through? Like if I pick point A, I could eliminate AX and AY, but I still get moment from CX and CY in there. If I pick point C, I could eliminate CX, CY, but I have AX and AY. I could pick A, I would get rid of AY and CX. There's some point about here where I'd be able to get rid of AX and CY, but no matter what I do, I'm gonna have at least two unknowns show up in there. Um, which means I won't be able to find any of my support reactions out from the overall free body diagram here. That's okay. That happens sometimes. We're just going to jump in and just say, let's just go straight to exploding the frame and looking at individual members on it. So let's do member AB first for this. <coughs> um, so member AB. Member AB is what we want to start out taking a look at in here. So that's just my vertical member in here. So I'll draw it straight up and down. Um, let's get that a little bit darker. At A, I have a pin. So I'm going to put in an AY, and I'll guess that it goes up. And I'll put in an AX, and I'm going to guess it goes to the right. Um, at B, I have a pin again. Now it's not internalized. I'm just looking at AB. I should include that pin. So let's put a BY going straight down. And let's put a BX going to the right, BY and BX. Um, and then on the left side of this, I have my distributed load in here. So I can show that rectangularly off to the left, just getting a handful of arrows in there to make sure it is obvious this is a distributed load. And I know my height here is 200 newtons per meter. So let's label that as well, 200 newtons per meter. Um, I still have four unknowns here, but because these are all in a line, I could some moments at A to find BX. I'd eliminate AX, AY, and BY from this one. I get rid of three of my unknowns. I can find one of them. So start there. I'm going to take positive is counterclockwise, and I'm going to sum my moments up about a point A. If I do that, my rectangular distributed load is going to cause a counterclockwise rotation, so I need to add it in. Plus, force times distance. The force for a distributed load is the area, so my base here is five meters. Base times height, 200. Five times 200. That's force times my distance. From A, for a rectangle, I want to measure to the middle of that rectangle, which it starts at A, so halfway in, it's just half the height here, half of five, five, over two uh, with my first piece in there bx will cause a clockwise rotation so i can subtract that out minus five bx gets us to zero which i can at that point solve for bx i'll get a positive number out for this which means i guess the right direction in my free body diagram bx is 500 newtons 500 newtons it's going to the right this is an internal pin. We're connecting members together here, not attaching it to the ground or the wall. So I want to include on which member, because if I drew a free body diagram of BC, I would change the direction around for this. Um, so 500 newtons to the right on BC. Sorry, on AB, not BC. The free body diagram I'm working with here on AB. And that would be one of my Six answers, BX. Um, if I know BX, I can sum force in the X and get AX. So let's get that one next. Summing forces in the X direction. I have um, BX 500 plus AX minus, because it points to the left, 
the area of my distributed load minus 5 times 200 is going to get me to 0. I can solve that for AX. And I'll get a positive here as well. AX is 500 newtons. And it's going to the right. Um, I don't need to say on a specific member because our support reactions, those external ones, we never change their direction around. Just 500 to the right. Um, that would be my second answer in here. Um, technically, I can now move on. I can't do anything else in here. I can't sum force in the Y. I'd just be able to get AY minus BY is zero. AY equals BY. Uh, if I can't solve it out, let's just not deal with it. Um, I could go to BC and draw a free body diagram here. That will let me get BY, CX, and CY. I'd only have three unknowns at that point. Um, or I could draw an overall free body diagram. With AX known, I'd be down to AY, CX, and CY. Three unknowns on the entire free body diagram. But I can then come back to this one to finish everything up. Um, either way, we get the same answers. I'm going to draw BC. So come over on the left and say I'm looking at member BC. BC is just a horizontal line in here for our member. So just one straight line. Um, I know I have a trapezoidal distributed load on here. So we can add that in as well. At the left, it has a height of, let's make that look a little bit nicer. On the left side, our height is 200 newtons per meter. 200 newtons per meter. And on the right side, it's 100. We're given that. 100 newtons per meter. Now I just need a handful of arrows coming down off of this. Um, at B, I have an internal pin. I can work with that. I already found BX. I got that it was to the right on member AB. Uh, to be equal and opposite, as I move from one member to the next, that has to change direction. So my BX is now going to the left, but with the same magnitude. Equal, still 500 newtons opposite it's not to the right we'll show it to the left i assume by went down before we want to make a cohesive assumption consistent between one free body diagram and the next so if i assumed it went down on ab i need to put this in going up here on bc i'm still by though that way it's equal and opposite as i'm moving from one member to the next my width here is six meters and at the far right edge of this I have CX and CY. I haven't used them yet, so I can just guess directions on that. I'm going to put CY goes up and CX goes to the right. Um, and then I can come in and apply equilibrium here. There's three unknowns. I can get all of them. So I can sum forces in the X direction. That's going to get me CX minus 500. Make a full free body diagram even when the equation is easy to solve. It's a good habit to be in. It's fully showing your work and that matters for engineering. Um, that would give me that CX is 500 newtons. It's going to the right, which means, or it's, I get a positive, which means I guess the right direction. It is going to the right. Um, that's an external reaction, so I don't have to say on a specific member because we don't change those directions around. That would be another answer for us. Um, with that known, I have BY and CY, two unknowns. I'm going to do moments in here. Uh, so my moments, I have a trapezoid right now. So let's split this into a rectangle with a triangle stuck on top of it. So we can have two areas in here that I can work with. A rectangle with a height of 100 and a triangle that has a height of 200 minus 100. The big side of the trapezoid minus the small side because only that little bit in between there is on the triangle. Uh, but if I come in and do moments here with positive going counterclockwise, let's sum my moments up about point B. So that will get me CY causes a counterclockwise rotation. So I'll put it in as positive. 6 CY. 6 CY. Force times distance. Uh, my rectangular distributed load will cause a clockwise rotation. So minus force is the area base 6 times my height 100 times the distance from B to the middle of the rectangle would be, well that rectangle starts at B, so just half of the base, 6 over 2, or I could just put directly 3 in. Um, that gets it, force 6 times 100 times distance, 6 over 2, moment, force times distance. 
Um, I can get a similar thing for my triangle. For our triangle, my distance measures from the 90 degree corner, so the left side of this one, I'm going to cause a clockwise rotation, so minus force, one half. Base is six times my height is the difference in here, 200 minus 100, or just 100, because um, I only want the portion of the height that goes on the trap or on the triangle. The max height minus the small side, 200 minus 100, is the triangle's height. Times distance, a third of the way into the triangle from the 90 degree corner. That 90 degree corner is at B, so a third of the way in is just 6 over 3 times 6 divided by 3. Um, and that's everything causing moment. I can set this equation equal to 0. Um, solving for CY, I'm going to get that CY... CY is, I'm going to move that down, I'm going to hit my B. CY works out to be 400 newtons. CY equals 400 newtons. I get a positive number from this, so I had the right direction. We are going up. Um, with that known, I can now sum forces in the Y to get BY. I'm summing my forces in the Y direction. I have BY going up. So my last unknown from this free body diagram, plus CY, plus 400, minus the area of the rectangular distributed load, minus base times height, 6 times 100, minus the area of the triangular distributed load, or minus 1 half, base 6 times height, 200 minus 100. It will get us to zero. Um, again, we're just finding areas in here. Area of a distributed load is the force of the distributed load. Um, but I can solve this for BY. It's my only unknown here. I will get BY is equal to 500 newtons. 500 newtons. I get a positive number out from this equation, which means I guess the right direction here. And also, I guess the right direction on AB. It's going up on... We're working with, member BC when it's going up on BC, um, which would be my last unknown I can find here. That gives us one last piece I still need to find. I need to find AY, which I could go back and make a free body diagram of everything. AY would be my only unknown on it. Or realistically, I could come back to member AB. I've used two equilibrium equations up here. I sum moments and forces in the X. I could still do moments again or forces in the y direction here uh, forces in the y is going to be the easiest thing for us so we're going to say let's go back to a b back to a b and try to find a y so we'd have summing our forces in the y direction is equal to a y going up a y minus b y and b y we know is 500 minus 500 equals zero. Also, we know it was 500 going up on BC, equal and opposite means it is going down on AB, which is why we're subtracting it. But solving for AY, I'm gonna get that AY is 500 Newtons going straight up, which would be our final answer for the problem. Um, hopefully this is a useful video for us. If it was, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Stick around, watch more videos. Let's get you an A with JJ.